You're listening to Hainai by Motsi Dapu. Episode 3 Oras. Hello? Hey, Laura. Uh, sorry, I just got out of the subway. I'm here on Church and Wellesley by the pizza place. Oh, yeah, I see you. See me waving? Sorry, um, no. Ah, shoot. One sec. Hello? Laura? You could let me know where you're sitting, and I- Ah! Hey there, stranger! Don't scare me like that! Holy- Oh! Uh, Oh my- Your hair! You like it? No wonder I didn't see you. I wasn't looking for- You look amazing! Thank you. I just needed a change, you know? Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, listen. Uh, about last month... Don't worry about it. Like I said, I'm out hunting for... Vintage stuff that may or may not be cursed? Mm-hmm. And I thought, hey, finding something weird and wonderful would work better if I had someone weird and wonderful along for the ride. Who I would, of course, treat to lunch as thanks for graciously doing me this enormous favor. Oh. Oh! Is is this a... Uh, is this... Sorry, I, I'm not good at... I, I'm, I'm very unobservant, um, but... But was this supposed to be... A, a date? Oh, no. No, I mean, I wasn't planning on it, but if you... No, no, I, I just thought it was a possibility, but... You're gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Thank you, but... I, I'm kind of more into... Older women? Oh, oh yeah. Um, me too. I mean, o- older, uh, everyone, kind of? Like, like it's not a deal breaker, but you know, you know. Oh, hell do I. <laughs> so, so what, we're out here for you to pick up women? <laughs> no. Well, if it happens, it happens, right? But, like I said. Uh, all right. Hunting? Uh, what do you think are the chances you'll actually find something real? better with someone who knows what real is. I guess. Uh, but what are the chances you'll find anything at all today? Probably the same chances that I bring something real back to the apartment I paid the year's deposit on and have a monster crawl out of my sink. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that that makes sense. Oh, shoot. My phone's still... Hey, Nay. How long has it been since I moved? It feels like a lifetime, and yet... No time at all. This doesn't feel like my life sometimes, because I'm still finding myself wanting something that's half the world away, and thinking, Fudge, I, I can't pop by Maginhawa to get my favorite nata de coco milk anymore, huh? Can't get Tahoe in the mornings. Can't just pop my head out of the window to call for Balut. (sighs) Sorry for being weird. I... I just had a lot of time to think about it. Or no time at all, I guess. I need to start from the beginning. Laura, my friend. She's my friend now, by the way. Yeah, surprised me too. She moved back into her place, can you believe it? Most people don't. It's not something most people like to think about, but she did. I didn't know if our newly minted friendship meant I could address it. I may have saved her from what I figure is a pretty out-there trauma for most people to deal with, but I'm also a stark reminder of it. I try not to bring it up. Try not to say how Donner and Murphy told me their cases always ended in death, but I think she guessed. If she wasn't fast enough, if she hadn't found me. 
Nobody came to help her, but that's normal too. Like you taught me. When it comes to attacks like these ones, there will more often than not be this miasma. An otherworldly blanket, like a fog, dimming your awareness. If you weren't already paying attention, if there was any chance you wouldn't have heard or seen or known what was happening, it would make sure you wouldn't. Not always, but that's not accounting for good old-fashioned city living. You tend to tune out the screams when drunks wander the streets yelling at random passersby. You pretend the neighbors aren't having a shouting match. You assume the weird thumping from a floor above is just someone getting some 11 p.m. exercise in. I try not to tell her any of that, but she came asking questions I wasn't sure I should be answering. Ask me how I stopped the rotting thing from getting her. Ask me about the buttons. Asked about the things around my neck. Asked about the monster. I tried to explain what I knew, but I didn't have all the answers myself. I knew for a fact that these things, the button, the baby bottle, they were related somehow. Both old, both bleeding evil into the world, so cloying I couldn't make contact without my stomach trying to climb out my throat. Both destroyed now, so we couldn't exactly do a decent amount of investigating. Donner brought the remains of both to me at one point, asking me to see if I couldn't scry something with the pieces or whatever. I told him I couldn't. Whatever power had been in these items were long gone and we were better off doing research on their origins than whatever curse had been placed on them. I still tried on his insistence. Traces were faint, but I saw the face of the man from Anya Creek's home in the shape of the wax I dripped into the water. I showed Donner the piece, and he took a photo, promising to look into it, and for a few weeks he disappeared into work as I found myself getting acquainted with my new friend, eager to learn and asking me to look over the things she brought back from eclectic little stores scattered about Toronto. Hey Mari, you mind coming over? Got a bunch of stuff in the mail from the Sunday Antiques Market on Esplanade, and, you know, I wanted to get your take before touching anything. I probably shouldn't. Sure. A workload's like today. I'll, I'll come down. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. So you're sure it's okay for me to wear the necklace? Yeah, I... Wait, why are you up at 1am? Why are you? I've got a deadline and a flexible work schedule. What's your excuse? Sorry, I know it's late. <sighs> no, it it's fine. I need to step away from the screen before my eyes roll out of my head anyway. You wanted to ask, uh, which necklace? Which necklace did you say was weird, but in a good way? Oh, uh, the locket thing. Yeah, the locket thing. The one I can't pry open without professional help. You said the rest of my hall was fine, but this one is weird. Are you sure it isn't gonna, I don't know, spring a curse on me when I get it checked? I'm pretty darn sure, yeah. I said it was good, didn't I? Yeah, I... Trust you, I just... Uh, what I felt from that locket was, like, the opposite of what I felt from the buttons, if that makes sense. What is the opposite of throwing up? Haha. -ha. I mean, it felt... nice. Weirdly good, like, I can get impressions of what people felt or experienced related to or in possession of certain items... If someone died violently while wearing a ring, I'd know. If someone loved a doll, I'd know. But those are just memories, sprinkled on the surface like fine dust. This locket has something good, but it's not just an impression. It feels... different. Good, but different. I can't explain it fully. Like, there's something under the surface. Like the rest was... Clothes on skin, but this is like the beating of a heart under a rib cage that I can feel if I pay attention. I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's the best way I can explain it. Hmm. Maybe it'll give me good luck, if nothing else. <laughs> Probably. Thanks, Mari. Good luck with that deadline. I'll be free soon enough, I promise.
So I was thinking I'd try to find another one of those weird good things and exchange a few of the things I got last week. It's amazing how easily you find weird specific groups online. Like, did you know strange antiques to buy, sell, and exchange is a thing? I do now. Apparently. Laura, don't tell me you. It's a bit more than before, but I'm thinking maybe if we end up finding something else with the same aura, maybe it'll give us some better luck than- Laura, listen. Hmm. Is this- is this healthy? What do you mean? I mean, we can't just go through all of Toronto's weird antiques hoping to find a one-off good luck charm. Especially when we know what some of those things might be capable of. Isn't it better to know, though? I mean, with you here, I'm- I'm just saying, you don't have to spend all day doing this if- What? Are my coping mechanisms too inconvenient for you? I am not your magical metal detector. I can't... You don't know what it is to see what I see when I touch those things. I... I wanted to help, but... No, I get it. Laura, I... It's okay. Sorry for bothering you. Laura? What is it? Are you okay? Whoa, hey. Calm down, girl. Sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. You were right. I was being unfair to you. You've got a life, and I shouldn't be eating up all your time just because of my hang-ups. No, I said it was okay. And he went through something terrible. I get it. You kind of went through it too, though. <laughs> well, I'm used to it. Which is insane to me, but clearly you know what you're doing. To a point. <laughs> I've, uh, slowed down on the whole thing. You know? That's... that's good. I thought maybe we both needed a break. So how about we go over to Kensington, spend a bit of time in Chinatown? There's this hilarious guru guy that works right above this fancy vegan grocery I've been wanting to visit... He's got these crazy ads, pretty big following, and I wanted to see how full of BS he really is. If you're okay with it. Of course. I'd love to. Great. I'll text you the details. Hey, Laura? Hmm? We're, um, we're cool, right? Of course we are. Don't worry about it. I've uh, got to pick up. I need to get done before closing, and I'll see you soon, all right? Yeah, all, all right. Hey, it's Laura. You know what to do. If I don't like you, I'm not calling you back. Mwah. Hey, Laura. I I'm here by the bagel place. Just, uh, just waiting up. Let me know when you get here. Hey, it's Laura. You know what to do. If I don't like you, I'm not calling you back. Mwah. Hey, Laura. I I'm just waiting up in the bagel place, in case you don't see me. I I've got the seat by the window. Give me an ETA when you can. Hey, it's Laura. You know what to do. If I don't like you, I'm not calling you back. Mwah. Laura, call me. I had to get home. It's been three hours and, well, I'm worried about you. But if this is your way of getting back at me for saying I needed a break helping you with the old coping mechanisms, then frick you, all right? This isn't funny. Hey, it's Laura. You know what to do. If I don't like you, I'm not calling you back. Mwah. Hey, it's Laura. You know what to do. If I don't like you, I'm not calling you back. Mwah. Donner's phone, Murphy speaking. Man's in the driver's seat, and I've got shotgun. And an actual shotgun, but that's not relevant. What's up? I'm taking that back. You don't quit it. Eyes on the road, sweetheart. <laughs> um, hi, Murphy. Mari, hey, what's up? Sorry, 
I wasn't sure who I should call. I don't know if it's serious, but I haven't seen her in days, and the concierge says she hasn't hey, signed hey, in, and... Breathe. Start from the beginning. Hey, put me on. I'm putting you on speaker. What happened? I... It's Laura. Remember my neighbor? The one who... Yeah, we remember. We were supposed to meet up last week. She didn't show, but I figured she was ghosting me or something since I... Well, we got into a fight. I think. The last thing I knew, she was trying to collect things. Weird things. She called it her coping mechanism. Asked me to check the vintage stuff she was ordering to make sure nothing was cursed. I did it, but I got busy and snapped at her, and she said she stopped bothering me, and I thought she was mad, but then she said we should meet up at Kensington, uh, check out this TV guru guy for a laugh. Oh. <laughs> guru Mahadev? What? I mean, she didn't... Maybe? So, you were supposed to meet up, go visit the hot fake guru with his hot mess of a fake beard. Yeah, but she never showed. I thought she was being petty, getting back at me or something. Uh, after the weekend, I tried going down to her room in case she'd been away, but... Nothing. And no bad vibes, either. So, if anything, you know, creepy happened, it didn't happen there. And a concierge? Said she hadn't been home since the day before we were supposed to meet up. I, I called her home phone from back when she was in Oakville, and... Her parents asked me how she was doing, so they didn't know either. I didn't know if I was supposed to file a report or something, so I called you. Damn. I'd come over, but... You think Sanchez needs us both just to go over a couple of case files? No. No, I've got it handled. And it's not like you'll tattle on me if I ducked out of library duty to respond to an important call from a valued contact? Yeah. Yeah. I... Thanks, Murphy. And pass up the chance to battle an indoor cold ghost? You kidding? Mari, did you get all that? Indoor cold ghost? Ugh. I'll be over in an hour. Hang tight till then, alright, Mari? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. Uh, both of you. Have you come seeking answers to questions otherworldly? Have you found yourself traversing other planes in your dreams or waking days, consumed by a need that cannot be sated? Guru Mahadev can help you, guide your mind and spirit to the place it must go, to the world within and without our own. Office hours Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., or you can book your appointment by email. Good day, and peace upon you. How may I help you this fine day, my friend? Thanks, but you can save the act for a paying customer. I've got a couple questions I need to run by you, Mr. Guru. Huh. And for what reason should I answer one who is not interested in seeking the knowledge I provide? A police detective, or two? Dropping by your fine establishment, if we don't get the answers we need by phone. I, uh, 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 yes, yes, of course. How may I help the um, honorable authorities this fine day? We're looking for one Laura Nichols. Mentioned your shop a few times over the week, and now she appears to be missing. We're looking into any leads we can. I, I, I remember speaking to a Laura, but... That's not exactly an uncommon name. Let me see. Ah, yes, yes, I remember. Laura N. Listed here on my records. Asked about an artifact of some kind. But I told her I deal primarily in herbal, spiritual, and holistic remedies. I did, however, suggest an old place west on Queen. An antique jeweler who specializes in old clockwork. I can send the details over if you give me your contact. You got a guru. Gonna keep you on record in case we need to ask any follow-up. Wait. Not that I don't trust you completely, officer. But if you could just give me your info before I give you mine. Gotcha. Call TPS for confirmation. General line. Give them the number I'll be sending you. They'll route you to this number. If it makes you feel better. Will do, officer. 
Hey, partner. I know you're probably busy with library duty, nerd, but wanted to keep you posted. Sent you the address. Apparently, the shop's been run by the same guy for the last 20 something years. Place is closed, but we can see the guy in the window. Everything looks pretty normal. Tell him what I told you. Everything looks normal, but Mari says something feels wrong, which I'm assuming means we'll die as soon as we cross the threshold. Well, not as soon as. Nice. I'll try to keep you on the call when we talk to the old man. Damn, I'm not getting a signal. Donner's gonna lose his... I can't see anything. Stay close. Um, Murphy? Call me crazy. Ever. But does this place feel bigger to you? Hmm. Let me get my flow. Yeah, no, that's that's not how it looked like before. Uh, at least it's not freezing this time. Hmm. So this happen often? Uh, more lately, but it should have just been... Wait. Did you... Did you hear that? Don't play with me, Mari. No, listen. What do you hear? Clocks? Maybe. And something... Behind you! Ah! What is that? Stay behind me. Hey! You there! Put your hands up! Um... Murphy? <sighs> You're kidding. Get down! Damn it! I'm sorry, I... No, don't apologize. You were right about this place. It's definitely wrong. Do you have any idea what's going on? Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I have no idea. And I don't even know if Laura's okay. Right. I... Calm down. Take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm trying very hard not to open my mouth or I might swallow a bug. <laughs> okay, but try not to lose consciousness. Again. Extenuating circumstances. Never took Donner for a gossip. We're partners. We try not to keep secrets from each other when we can help it. Okay, all right. Bugs, uh, whatever that thing is in the corner. A hallway, no lights, clockwork. Concentrate. Good. Good. Are you feeling anything? This... Uh, this ticking noise is driving me up the wall. It feels like something's watching us. Well, that's not good. Understatement. I just need to... There! End of the hall. There's a door there, I think. End of the hallway? Yep. Where all the bugs and m the creepy guy who may or may not try to grab us are? Uh, yep. All right, then. When I say run, run. Go, now! Murphy? Murphy? Hey, what the... Laura? Oh my gosh, Laura, you're okay. Ugh, settle down there. Appreciate the concern, but... I've been looking everywhere for you. You've been gone a week, and your family didn't know where you were, and I didn't know who else to call, so Donner and Murphy... Oh, God. Murphy, I left him. I need to go. But we found you. Once we get out of here, everything will be okay. I'm sorry, Laura. I shouldn't have shut you out. This is all my fault. I knew you needed my help, but I bailed anyway. And now you're here. You've probably been stuck here this whole time, and I didn't know. I I'm so sorry. Uh huh. It's okay. Um, whoever you are. Who are you again? What? <sighs> this is bad. Should have known Donner was a king of understatement. It wasn't that bad, Murphy. Like the time you got drunk and woke up on the massacred remains of the Johnson's Kid Snow Village. Damn it, Donner. Facing off against this dirtbag again was not part of the deal. Don't get the bugs, though. Maybe that's Mari's deal. After everything she's seen and it's what? Bugs that get her? Fair enough, I guess. Hey, partner. I'm not getting any signal, like you said, but you said you wanted more evidence, so here it is. Video evidence and everything. Recognize that piece of garbage in the corner? Bet you do. Wonder what you'd have seen if you were here. Wish you were, so my back wouldn't feel so damned exposed. Got separated from Mari, 
Can't find the door she went through. I'll find her, though. Promise I keep her safe, so... Yeah, I'll keep this running in case, in case anything happens. I, well, see you soon, huh? It, it's me. Mary. You know me. We've been neighbors for months. We're, well, we were friends, though I get if you don't want to be after all this. After you barged into my apartment while I was in the middle of a project? I mean, you already apologized, so I guess it's fine. No, that's not... Wait, is that a dress? Oh, yeah. I do a bit in my spare time. I got these amazing vintage buttons from... Don't touch that! Jeez! What is wrong with you? They're... those buttons. Laura, your hair! What about my hair? The dress, this apartment, you're not even wearing the necklace. I don't know what you mean. You're... you're reliving that day, aren't you? Stop it. But you haven't gotten to what happens next, have you? Get out! When you heard the strange sound of rumbling you thought was just... construction messing with the pipes. Get out! Laura? Oh, hey, Mary. Check it out. I've got this amazing haul. What happened? What do you mean? Something's going on, Laura. This isn't your apartment. You went to get some kind of antique looked at, and you got pulled into whatever all this is. Calm down, Mary. Didn't you come down to help me look over these? Laura, I don't have time for... You know what? Fine. I'll save you time. This one. This this necklace. It... Mary, are you okay? This necklace. Did you bring it with you when you came here? Came where? Mary, you're not making any sense. We're... We're safe here. Aren't we? Of course we're safe. How do you know that? Because it's my home. I'm supposed to be safe in my home. I'm not supposed to be afraid in my own home that something bad's about to happen. I'm not supposed to never use my kitchen sink. I'm not supposed to beg and plead for you to help me feel safe in my own home because it's unfair. It's unfair of you, and it's unfair to me. I left my family because I thought I was strong enough to make it on my own. But here I am, clinging to the safest person I know. I can't leave her alone because I'm afraid of every little thing, but God, I'm trying. I really am. I know you are. None of this should have ever happened to you. What have I got to complain about? You treat this stuff like it's another problem to be solved. I don't know how you do it. Well, I'm not exactly solving any problems right now. I don't even know where to look, and... Oh, this ticking, it's... Oh, damn it. What? I've been trying to ignore it this whole time, but now that you've brought it to my attention, it's like realizing you can see your nose on your face. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. It's pretty loud, too, huh? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of... well... What? Back home, there's a thing. A, a creature. It it makes this creepy ticking noise, like chittering. When it's far away, it's louder, but when it's closer, it gets real quiet. Also, it uh, eats small animals and has this thin, long tongue that... Ugh, that's creepy. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. Remind me to tell you later, huh? After we get out of here, anyway. Hey, you think it goes by the same rules? Huh? You know, the ticking's loudest here. Maybe we need to find where it's quietest. Maybe, but... I can't even begin to tell where it might be quieter. What do you mean? It's obviously... I don't know how you're hearing that, but... Wait, is that a door? Yeah, it's been here the whole time. I don't know how you didn't notice it. I don't know, I... I, I usually notice these... <laughs> uh, Mary, are you okay? Uh, it, it, it's too loud, I, I can't... Come on, let's get you out of here. 
Uh, Laura, your your necklace. Mary, Mary, come on! Don't do this. I need you here. I, damn it! Oh, hey, you two. Good timing. Officer Murphy, right? Holy crap, is that a body? He tried to drag me somewhere, so I... Well, wait. What happened to Mari? I don't know. She said the ticking was getting too loud and she fell unconscious. I hear she does that a lot. Oh, frick you. And she lives. I'm trying to find where the ticking is quietest. We don't know if it'll work, but it's not like we have many other options. How can you even tell? It's just... everywhere. Can't you hear it? No. But... you can. But... You're safe. You're... Come on. I've got your back. It's here. Mary, look. Mary, come on. She's out of it. What are we gonna do then? I don't know. Oh my god! Ah, Mary Ann. You look rather different, but I'd recognize that bubble anywhere. She never had good taste, dear woman, but you always humored her. What? Who are you? Are you the one who's causing all this? I don't know if it's a good idea to talk to the weird Victorian ghost. You don't feel him. You always had a keen sense of when he was around. He's here. Somewhere. If I could only have trapped him too. But you'll have to do, I suppose. Laura, get down! <laughs> They told me what they saw, and I know what I did, but I don't understand it. The first time, the rotting thing, it it didn't go after her fears the way this did. Not even the baby bottle. The man in Anya Creek's home. He was terrifying, but still, it wasn't the same. We figured out pretty quickly that the thing that had caused all this was an old clock that had been in storage for a while. It had apparently been acting up enough that the owner got injured while he was at work. With the old clock, I suspect that it had something to do with time, but I don't know if the strange man Murphy saw had anything to do with his own past. I just know that what it showed me was was something I was hoping never to see or hear, or feel on my skin ever again. And I know it showed Laura one of the worst moments of her life, the one I was there for. They don't seem connected. The rotting thing had to do with the body buried under the building, I knew that much. And I knew that the thing that haunted Anya Creek was feeding on her desires. 
But when everything went back to normal, the man we saw in the window when we first came was... gone. There was nobody there, and when Donner and Murphy looked into it, they learned it had been closed for a month while the owner recovered from a minor surgery. An old man, who looked nothing like the one we saw in the window, the one Murphy might have recognized in the face of the strange phantasm he and Laura spoke to. And then there was... Marianne. The first name we heard. The woman they saw. The one that seemed to be connected to the necklace Laura wore. The one that gave me that sense of good that I can no longer feel around Laura's neck. Not fully, anyway. Whatever the other things had been, the buttons, the baby bottle, the clock, Laura's necklace is almost the opposite. Whoever Marianne was, she was able to stop it the way I could have, if I had been awake. Was it just luck that Laura found a thing? Was I meant to know exactly what it was when it first came? I don't know. This is the first time I've felt like there's something bigger at play, something pulling us along by puppet strings. And honestly, Nene, I don't like it. There was a woman standing right in front of me. What did she look like? Beautiful. But not in like a celebrity kind of way, you know? She was dressed in plain clothes, but old. Edwardian, if I had to guess. Natural hair and eyes that, well, like she knew everything, but her face was so calm. It made me feel... I can't describe it. But after she made that... that man go away, it was like she was gone too. Not just from sight, but like I'd been carrying that part of her in the thing around my neck, and it just ran out of juice. <sighs> the more we run into, the less things make sense. Like things made sense in the first place. <laughs> yeah, well. Thank you. You're the one who saved my life, remember? And carried me the whole way? I mean, dang, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... Thank you for trusting me. I didn't realize you've been keeping me safe this whole time. I guess it was nice to do the same for you this once. Even if the circumstances weren't ideal. I get that. I really do. By the way, I'm using the kitchen sink again. What? That's amazing! You're listening to Hainai by Motsi Dapul.